person walking through a freaking evil table. Be a psychotic person walking through a abandoned building, going, "Let's see what's going on here." Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to the first one, obviously. Three hundred one. Ha! <laughs> yeah, portraits of dead people. Funny. Yeah. You know what? Let's think this logically. Maybe they were painting the ceiling. Maybe they were painting. Maybe they're painting. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't be lighting these candles. Maybe these candles are evil. You know, that's really not that scary as much as it is like calming. I guess like if you were like really scared of music from like the the forties, <laughs> and I guess the music from the forties is kind of terrifying. I guess depending on what setting they're being played in. What do I have the key to anyway? Oh my God! There's Erwin Rommel. Is that a Nazi? I think that guy was a Nazi. Roof access three hundred one. I can lock. I can unlock a door by using this roof key. Roof key. Roof key. Oh, that door all the way on the other end. All right, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna jump off the building because I don't like this place. <sighs> jump scare. Jump scare. Yeah. You know, if there's no jump scares, I will be extremely res. I will respect the people who made this a lot more. Jump scares are kind of like the cheapest way to scare someone. Trying to get the, the, the ambiance and the environment to scare them. And little things here and there. That That's more terrifying. I mean, it, it obviously doesn't really work that well on me. and I'm trying. I'm really trying to psych myself into being terrified. But um, for the average person who didn't spend their entire childhood having terrifying nightmares and getting used to them... Uh, yeah. Buried Alive was one of my worst fears that I figured out you would actually die before you probably even figured out you were buried alive from the lack of oxygen. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's not the end. Oh, we getting out some trippy shit here. We walked into freaking Snoopy Land. Oh, Snoopy uh, Peanut Gallery. Um, is it the peanuts? Uh, Charlie Brown and shit. You guys remember when Charlie Brown was flipping out on acid and for, instead of colors, he saw nothing but black and white. And he was like, oh, our world is entirely drawn by hand. I had no. Is this supposed to be hair? Is the Grudge Girl trying trying to rape me? Light it on fire! It's all cartoony land. I actually really like this. The game was made in, in this this texture. It's pretty awesome. Oh shit! Charlie Brown's fucking having a 2001 Space Odyssey moment. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, seriously, I can't. I can't keep doing that sound. Oh. It's an easy to dark the set now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go this way. Hallway of infinite confusion. <coughs> this is just a weird ma mission mash of shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very much entertained. Except for the fact that I kind of gave myself a headache going. Ah! <laughs> Dead guy, floors, falling. Silence. It's funny. Seconds before I hit the bottom, my mind. 
would not stop screaming in terror. Now, that impossibly louder terror has been replaced with a maddening silence. My legs may have broken corpse, an unrecognized lump of flesh and bone, but it's irrelevant now. She changed my voice with a loud snap, possibly a crunch thrown in of everything I've become conscious is God of, of uh, words. <coughs> I have never been as happy as I am right now. Well, you know, when you're dead, it's kind of better than being alive. There's uh, two others on my left and on my right. I can see their stories. My senses, once complicated and overrated, have been reduced to a beautiful simplicity. All that remains are words. No, no, not you're dead. To my right lies a woman, once an indescribable beauty. No, I, she, <laughs> I saw her myself. And she wasn't decayed. And nah, I I guess I would hit that if I was drunk. Hear her tell and learn. Oh gosh, she's gonna tell me her fucking life story. Snow quietly piled the pile outside. A small woman gazes at the flakes in silent awe from her balcony. The peace seems as if it will go on forever. Suddenly, from behind her, a man yells. She knows the man, normally, a timid, reserved person, but now, viciously pointing at her with and yelling, the woman does not understand. This is her last mistake. How was it a mistake? The dude is fucking up. He's killing her. She was beautiful, but you gotta do shit like that, man. With a gentleness.